Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Santana. I'm a wife and a mom of two-year-old Olivia Joy, and I am 22 weeks pregnant with baby girl number two. Today, I'm gonna be letting you know her name, a little bit behind why we chose her name, and I'm going to be previewing our nursery theme for you and I'm going to show you the room right now and what our plans are so you can sort of see a before and after of the baby's nursery. My channel has a lot of toddler stuff on it. It now has some pregnancy stuff on it and just mom stuff in general. So if you are interested in that type of content, don't forget to click the subscribe button and stick around. I always love engaging with you guys in the comments and hearing your thoughts on the different videos and also things that you are interested in hearing. So let's jump into baby girl number two's name. Her name is, drum roll please, no, I don't know how to make it dramatic, but her name is going to be Eden Elizabeth. And the way we came up with this name was we had been talking about names for a while. There was a name that I actually thought I liked until I found out that she was for sure a girl. And then I was like, that's not her name. So we kind of had to go back to the drawing board. Eden was on the list as a middle name originally. And then when I started praying, I just started seeing Eden everywhere. And I was like, I really think that this is her name. When I talked to my husband about why he agreed, and so I want to share a little bit about why with you. So you may or may not be a Christian or be aware of like biblical themes, but we are Christians. And so our meaning, the meaning of the name Eden is taken from the Bible in the Garden of Eden. So what I love about the name Eden is that Eden was this perfect, beautiful paradise that was actually planted by God. So if you think about all the words that the Bible uses in the beginning during creation, God spoke, um, God created, God made these things. But when it talks about the Garden of Eden, it says that God planted it. So I like to think about God planting the Garden of Eden as being something really intimate where he's like down on his knees in the soil, planting and um, causing these plants to flourish. So thinking about him being intimately involved in the making of our daughter is um, something that I love about the name Eden and thinking about her being so intimately and um, delicately made by God. Obviously, he planted it to flourish. And so we, play, we pray that he is planting our daughter in order to flourish. The Garden of Eden was also a place where before the fall, Adam and Eve had this perfect fellowship with each other where there was no shame. There was no sort of like anything that came between them. And they had a perfect relationship with God as well. This intimacy with God where God was walking around. He was in the garden with them. And they had this unbroken fellowship with God. So that is something that we desire for Eden is that she would have this intimacy with God. If you know the story of the Bible at all, you know that um, sin did enter into Eden. We also know not to be like dramatic or anything, but our daughter is going to be a sinner, just like all of us. And we're all imperfect and we're all going to fall. So that's kind of where her middle name comes in. So Eden is this beautiful like start to the story. And then Elizabeth means pledged to God or dedicated to God. It can also mean God is abundance. And so to me, that represents like the second part of the story, right? The name Elizabeth, meaning pledged to God or dedicated to God, basically means like, although Eden started out perfect, but was no longer perfect at the end. Like we um, dedicate her back to God, hoping that um, through Jesus, her relationship with God is restored and she has this bridge back to him um, through her dedication to him. And obviously God is abundance. Once you are back into that perfect fellowship with God through Jesus Christ, you get the abundance that was in the garden of Eden. Like it talks about how Eden was well watered, a picture of someone who bears fruit in their life, who is fruitful, who thrives. And so we want Eden to be, continue to be well watered and to experience the abundance of God. So that is like a very brief meaning of her name. I could go on forever about like the different aspects of Eden that we like and that Elizabeth kind of pairs really well with, but that is her name. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you know any Edens? It's definitely a bit of a rare name. It can also go to be like a boy name or a girl name. So let me know if you find it to be one or the other more obviously paired with Elizabeth. It definitely has a feminine flair, I think, to it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on Eden Elizabeth. We are super excited for that to be her name. I'm gonna show you a quick tour of her room and then I'm gonna talk to you about the theme. So her room 
is actually in the old part of our house. Our house was built in 1895, and then there were two additions put on in the late 90s and early 2000s. Eden's room, we believe, used to be two bedrooms in the original house, because there are two doorways to get into her room, which is a little bit interesting. It also has a very odd shape. So we were originally going to do some work and have a contractor come in and like change some of the walls around, but I think we're just going to stick with what it is and make do with it. I have a lot of faith that we can make this room awesome, even though it is very like tall and long instead of sort of more of a square shape that you would expect from a bedroom. So my vision for the room is to have it be like a Garden of Eden theme. I want it to be very natural. I'm kind of moving away. In our last house, I really liked gray. I want to move more to like whites or off-whites, creamy type colors and really earthy greens, um, greenery and wood. So we're going to keep the wood trim, woven baskets, things that have browns and creams and greens with like little pops of pink. So found a room. So I had a vision for what I wanted and I found a nursery online that I'm going to link down below that I think perfectly exemplifies the vibe that I want for her room. So I'm going to show you some pictures from that. Again, it's linked down below. I'm also going to link all the products that I'm thinking about getting her down below as well. So this room really is going to have that like earthy vibe. So I want a wallpaper behind where her crib is going to go. And then the rest of the room is going to kind of be like a white or an off white. I want to do really fluffy white rugs. And then I want to have a dresser or a changing table on the other part of the wall that like has space in between the windows. The nursing chair obviously is there. It needs to get cleaned a little bit. It has some stains, but I really like that chair and it's very natural. So I think, or natural colored. So I think it's going to go with the vibe of the room. And this room has a five windows and it sits on the place of the house where it gets the sun basically all day long. So I think plants are going to really thrive in this room. So I'm planning on getting some plants. I've tried a fiddle leaf fig before and it died like almost immediately. I might try one of those. I might be brave. Let me know if you've had positive experiences with fiddle leaf figs. They're beautiful. I want to try that and de definitely just some other plants all around the room near the windows to make it very like gardeny feeling. And then I just want to use baskets to store some of her things in these nice wooden woven baskets that we pretty much already have. I've thrifted some baskets. I bought some baskets at Aldi. So I think we're kind of set on baskets. It's just going to be a matter of arranging them and putting things into them. I do, like I mentioned, want to do like pops of pink around the room. So we used to have a footstool for the nursing chair, but it honestly fell apart, which was kind of weird. So I gave it away for free. It just needed some screws to be put back together and I want to get a poof if that's even how you say it I want to get a pink poof or like footstool that's really like cozy for my feet when I am nursing so that is something that I'm definitely going to be looking for the one that I'm interested in getting I will link down below thankfully we already have a crib it is my nephew's crib I'll show a picture of it if I can find one and they are gifting that to us to use for baby Eden. I think it will work perfect because it's white and wood. And then my mom was actually driving like a few days ago and she saw one of her neighbors was putting their little girl's dressers out on the curb for the garbage. This is actually the second time my mom has found us really like great furniture on the curb. So um, she called right away. My husband went over and got it and he brought these two pieces. The one that's tall, I'm like super excited about, but I'm not sure it's going to have a great spot in the room. If it doesn't, we'll probably put it in our hallway landing because I love the open shelving. I just think it will be beautiful if I can find the right spot for it. And then the one that's um, more like horizontal is going to be perfect to put her changing pad on top of and put on the wall like that has space. Oh, also, I forgot to say above the changing table, I want to put like a eucalyptus style art piece. I have one actually from our old house, so I'll show you a picture here. And I think something like this would be beautiful above the crib. So that's my vision for that. I'll also link that down below. I believe I got that on Etsy and I love Etsy for stuff like that. So I'm looking to get some eucalyptus going in the room too. So that is my vision. Oh, and the furniture I just saw today is from Restoration Hardware, which is like 
really good, really expensive furniture and we got it for free. So thank you, Jesus. I'm so excited about that. I just want to change the knobs to make it look a little bit more like the natural vibe that we're going for because they're glass knobs right now. So I'll probably put wooden knobs on there, but it's already like a little distressed on the edges. So I think it's going to be perfect. I am so excited. Let me know if you guys are feeling this kind of uh, Garden of Eden nursery vibe. If you have any tips or products for me that you think would look really great in there, I'd love to hear them. And just let me know in general your thoughts on our name and our nursery vibe. I can't wait to show you guys the end product. I am due in March. It is the end of November. So I have a little bit of time, um, but we do need to get to it. So I hope you guys are doing well. Stick around for more uh, pregnancy videos, more Montessori videos, more toddler videos, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,